This is question 19. Here I'm told that A and B are straight lines. And then I'm told that line A has equation 2y is equal to 3x plus 8. I'm told that line B goes through the points negative 1, 2 and 2, 8. And then I'm asked, do the lines A and B intersect? So the first thing I'm going to pick out is this question. Do lines A and B intersect? What does that mean? Well, it means, are A and B ever going to cross? Now, what I can say about lines which cross, or in particular, lines which don't cross, is that the only lines which do not cross are parallel lines. So to phrase this in another way, the question is asking us, uh, is line A and line B, are those lines parallel to each other? So to figure out whether they are parallel, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out what the gradient is. And the only lines which are parallel are going to be lines which have the same gradient. So if I take line A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what is the gradient of line A. Then I'm going to work out if what the, line, the gradient of line B is. And if the gradients are the same, then I can say that they are parallel and they will never intersect. If they're different, then they're not parallel and therefore they will intersect. So for line A, I can say that 2y is equal to 3x plus 8. That's given to me. And so working out the gradient here, now in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the form y equals mx plus c. So if I make y the subject here, then what I can say is that the coefficient of x when y is the subject, so this value m, that is the gradient. So to make y the subject, I'm just going to have to divide through by y, uh, sorry, divide through by 2. So dividing through by 2 gives me y is equal to 3 divided by 2 for 1.5 x plus 8. So my coefficient of x when y is the subject is 1.5 and therefore my gradient for line A is equal to 1.5. Now I'm going to look at line B. So line B, I'm not given the equation, but I am given two points. I'm given the points negative 1, 2 and 2, 8. So I'm going to work out the gradient from these two points. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to put the coordinates into a setting that you'll find familiar, which is an x, y table. So I've got the, the first coordinate is negative 1, 2. So my x coordinate is negative 1, my y coordinate is 2. And then for this second coordinate, that's 2, 8. Now, a definition of the gradient is that the gradient, I can figure out the gradient by saying that this is the change in y, so what y changes by, when x increases by 1. So what does y change by when x increases by 1? Now, I've got a little bit of a problem here because x, the, in the coordinates that I've got, x is not increasing by 1. x is increasing by 3. And when that happens, y is changing by, uh, by 6. It's going up by 6. So what I need to figure out is, well, what is y changing by when x only goes up by 1? So what I can say here is to figure that out, I can just take my change in y, the change in y, which is 6, and divide that by the change in x, which is 3. And that will give me what the change in y is when x increases by just 1 instead of by 3. So 6 divided by 3 gives me a gradient of 2. I've now got my gradient for a, so I've got a, gra uh, a gradient for B, which is 2, a gradient for A, which is 1.5. And what I said at the beginning is that will the, the lines will intersect if the gradients are different. If the gradients were the same, we could say that they were parallel and therefore they won't intersect. But because the gradients of these lines are different, 
that means that they will intersect. And so our answer to this is yes. And the reason is that the, the, um, is that the gradients are different. So final answer, yes, because the gradients for line A and line B are different.